Gentlemen, I give you llamas. All kinds of llamas. No. No, I give you Might and Magic 7. Yep, it's that time again. <laughs> Alright, where was I? I was not in the Temple of the Moon. Okay, so I told you we'd be getting off of this freaking island, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing. In fact, right now. Arrgh, let's cast off. You know, I never really figured out what the benefits were. <laughs> Did not mean to hit that. Alright. I'm just gonna get that to stop flashing. Okay, basically, um... Here's the quick history of this. Castle Harmondale was first used as defense against the elves. Um... Blah, blah, blah. A lot of bloody conflicts, changed hands 13 times, um, a few people got ripped apart by, uh, ripped apart by the citizens, uh, revolution, yeah. <laughs> um, basically a long and bloody history with the most recent lord being a necromancer. Yeah. You heard that right. Necromancer. Necromancer? Which is it? Oh, screw it. I'm not good at this. <laughs> Let's see. Buy special. Eh, might as well. Give me stuff. Okay. Alright, banks. They're... Interesting. I'm pretty sure they don't give interest of any sort. However, when you die, you lose all your gold. Except if your gold's in a bank, you don't lose it. Yeah, that's pretty handy, isn't it? Can I help you with anything? But seeing as I have very little gold, it's kind of a moot point. Ooh, horseshoes. Okay, horseshoes, next to genie lamps, they're probably some of the most powerful items in the game. That's right, horseshoes are the most powerful items in the game. No, I'm not going to explain that. Alright, yeah, well. Basically, they give you skill points. And seeing as the only other ways to get skill points are leveling up and using genie lamps during, I want to say, October, they're really useful. Like, I'm trying to decide what I want to level up. Hmm, let's say... Oh... Let's get some more fire magic for Jesse. Fire always makes it better. Boom. And while I'm at it, oh. Uh, balls, let's see. Uh, might as well give this one. Let's say some more bodybuilding. Yeah, there we go. Bodybuilding, I'm not sure if I mentioned it. Gives you more HP. Useful. Alright, what I could do would be go around and collect all of the um, horseshoes from all of the stables just right from the get-go. And I'm probably going to end up doing that. However, I don't have quite enough gold for it at the moment, to tell you the truth. I'm pretty much broke. Uh... I can do a little bit to help that, but... 
wait, that's the weapon shop. I hate how you can't sell armor to weapon shops and weapons to armor shops. That just annoys me. There we go. This gets given here. This gets given here. Do do do. Shopping. <laughs> Basically, right now, I'm just preparing to go and take over that castle. The castle that I just won. Yeah. See, it is, in fact, infested by goblins. Can I help you with anything? Mm-hmm. Goblins. Freaking goblins. And more than that, outside of the town, guess what there are? Goblins. And guess what this guy actually is? A goblin. In disguise. Take a guess what I don't like. Goblins. Freaking... Okay, this guy um, got robbed by bandits, and they took his signet ring. And he's a businessman, so he can't do his business without that ring. Basically... I have to go kill some bandits, get his ring, I bring it back to him, he gives me, I want to say, a lot of money. I hope it's a lot of money. I really don't know. It's been a while. Get that stop flashing. Okay. Yeah, these guys can teach me uh, expert skills, but... Seeing as that costs money, and the only skills I could get to expert right now would be bow for Danielle, uh, body magic here, and fire magic here, well, yeah, I don't have quite what I need. This guy gives you a quest to find his brother, though, like most quests that involve finding people in the Might and Magic games, um, you're gonna find a dead body. <laughs> it shouldn't amuse me quite as much as it does. I've got problems. Alright. Uh, how much time do we have? Yeah, just enough time to run in and kill a few people. Oh, wait, no. Something more important to do. Right here. That's a chest. And normally it blows up. I'm pretty sure it's trapped, but uh, I have disarm trap on this one, so yeah. I want to say it blows up. Whatever. When in doubt, open it with a uh, disarm with the guy with disarm trap, and you're always in doubt. Always. Nothing is safe. Ever. Be afraid. Or not. That's what the save file is going to be named. That's our butler. Butler. And goblins. He tells us to convince them to leave. I love this guy. I fear that talking will fail with these goblins, my lords. May I suggest violence? Ooh, violence. <laughs> ah. He's one of the few actually awesome characters. Blah, more history. Basically, it's just saying, hey, we got here. Um, no real welcoming party. They're guardedly hostile. They thought, uh, the townspeople say that we're guardedly hostile, and they say that we're probably going to die within a few months. And we can be pretty evil. But we're not going to be. <laughs> or we could be. I'm not sure, really. Anyway. Basically, yeah. Neither of the neighboring lord uh, kingdoms have taken notice. Avli or um, Enroth? I think, yeah. They've None of them taken notice. Anyway, next time we go in and we kill some goblins. I'm running out of time, so this is MV signing out.
one last thing. All right. Later.